Want a picture of the solar eclipse? Early this Thursday, June 10, 2021, the sun will rise partially eclipsed in the US and Canada. And in a narrow, rather remote area of Canada, Greenland and Siberia it will appear as a ring of fire, annular solar eclipse. Meanwhile, European and Central Asia will see a small chunk taken out of the sun. Wherever you are, yes, it's possible to take a photo of the solar eclipse using a phone or a proper camera. Exactly what will be seen, how much of a bite the moon will appear to take out of the sun, will differ by location, as will the position of the eclipse in your sky. In some areas of North America it will even be possible to photograph rare, solar horns, at sunrise as two cusps of the sun poke above the horizon, or even just one cusp, known as a shark's fin. Either way, this is a partial solar eclipse across the world since nowhere will all of the sun be blocked by the moon. After all, this is an annular solar eclipse not a total solar eclipse, when the moon is far away in its elliptical orbit and is consequently slightly smaller in the sky than on average. That means great care needs to be taken because even a slither of uneclipsed sun is very, very bright. Here's how to safely photograph the solar eclipse with a smartphone and with a DSLR or mirrorless camera. Yes, but you must be very careful. All phases of this eclipse from everywhere on the planet must be viewed through solar filters, and that goes double for cameras. If you're using a camera and a lens, or a telescope or a pair of binoculars, then they must have a solar filter or solar film over the front, and not over the eyepiece or viewfinder. Why? The sun's infrared and ultraviolet rays are incredibly dangerous and can damage your eyesight without you feeling any pain. If you've not got any solar filters or solar film, don't photograph the eclipse. In summary, you must. While those in Europe will see the eclipse high in the sky in the morning and afternoon, positioning which makes the eclipse hard to miss, those in North America will see it at, or shortly after, sunrise. So the exact position of the sun will be paramount. These online resources will help you plan your shot, however, it's best to scout out a location in advance and adapt when you need to. Despite all your apps and planning, the sun has a habit of coming up not quite in the location on the horizon you had thought it would, forcing a last-second panic move to get the sun where you had hoped it would be relative to a foreground object, said Alan Dyer, an eclipse chaser, astrophotographer and author of Nightscapes. He advises visiting your intended viewing site in the mornings before, if weather permits, so you know exactly what to expect. That's the challenge because clouds and haze will vary from day to day, so on eclipse day the best settings might still require some last-minute adjustment, said Dyer. Either way, arrive at your site well before sunrise to stake your spot.